Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a custom fighters-esque card, and it's coming in from a limb. But before I go ahead and read a limb's card, send me custom cards over to vhfcustomcards at gmail.com so I get to your custom card as soon as possible while I'm getting all these recent custom cards out of the way. So uh, there's nothing to be said really in the email it just says full details of frieza ginyu and cooler which is going to be the cards that we see right below and it's all just one card i thought it was separate cards because i saw like pictures of like uh fighters uh frieza cooler and captain ginyu but hey yeah let's just go ahead and uh, see so they're sent in multiple parts so i'm going to be reading them out separately let me just go ahead and open up a new tab so i don't have to edit over anything just click on the dokkan wiki it don't even matter Okay, so what do we have here first? So, uh, let me make sure it looks good on this screen. Okay, it does. Yeah, it looks fine. Yeah, oh, it just automatically zoomed in. All right. So, uh, Fighters of Another Universe, Frieza, Captain Ginyu, and Cooler, LR, AGL, Extreme, and their leader skill is crossover 3 key and 200% across the board. What do you guys think we're going to get for this year for Dragon Ball Heroes? You guys still think we're going to get Dragon Ball Heroes this year? So, Frieza. This is the freezer part of the card. His uh, 12 key super attack effect, he just stacks attack. And his 18 key super attack effect, he greatly stacks attack. And his passive, of course, specifically for Frieza, he gets 8 key and 200% attack and defense baseline. And he also gets additional 1 key up to 5 and an additional 20% attack up to 100% attack with each attack performed. So that's just 5 attacks to build up that key and attack. He also has a baseline 70% chance to dodge and launches two additional attacks that both have a 50% chance of a super attack. That's very nice considering the fact that this card is stack and attack. That's going to help this card hit a lot more harder as the fight goes on. And when key is 24, launches an additional super attack. I do like that. He gets rewarded for getting to 24 key. That's very nice. So that means that this card could do up to three plus supers. One being guaranteed and two being a chance of becoming a super attack. He also changes STR orbs to AGL. When HP is 50%, he gains 24 key, and he does a guaranteed crit when he's at 12 key. Okay, so guaranteed crits when his key is at 12, he uh, what's, he gets 24 key for free when his HP is 50% or below, and uh, he's a orb changer. He gets rewarded for getting 24 key by getting a guaranteed super. He also has two additional super attachments. It's going to help this guy stack up his attack a lot more. I do like the fact that he does have a 70% chance to dodge to fall back on. Um, he builds up key attack. So this guy is going to be basically damage pretty much because he has additional super attachments as well as a guaranteed super built into him to help him stack up his attack while having a 70% chance to dodge, orb changing so he can get to that 24 key. Now granted, it's from STR to AGL, but hey, it is something. Changing your orb is something. It's <laughs> it's better than nothing, you know? Uh, considering the fact that he isn't key for keys are obtained, that does help. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see what the other card is looking like. Let me just go ahead and minimize that and then move this one back over. Uh, okay, let's see. Let me go down here. So now we have, what's the next exchange? I think it's, is it Ginyu? I think it's Ginyu. Is it Ginyu or Cooler? No, it's Ginyu. Yeah, it's Frieza, then Ginyu, then Cooler. Yeah, okay, here we go. All right, uh, make sure it looks good on this screen. Let me minimize this for a second. Uh, back up. Okay, looks good. All right. Guys, don't mind me. I'm constantly, like, minimizing and bringing my, uh, obs right back up to make sure it looks good on both like ends on uh, the recording side and on the other side because i have like multiple different tabs pulled up on this monitor okay so we have frieza exchanging into ginyu so exchange available from turn one in okay and in parentheses in slot one doesn't exchange in slot two exchanges into ginyu and into slot three exchanges into cooler okay and slot one doesn't exchange in slot two. Okay, so if you're in slot two, you can exchange into Ginyu. And if you're in slot three, you can exchange into Cooler. Interesting. This is a very dope concept. I like that. I really like that. That's very creative. You guys come up with some really creative stuff on these custom car reviews. Like, no lie. Like, from uh, having the card being uh, like, uh, how, how, what's the word? From having a card being, uh, like, reference to the anime, or to, like, reference, like, a game, an anime, or whatever, 
to the, the specific card you were talking about referencing a card to whatever it came from to having something like this is it's so cool i couldn't even put into words <laughs> so in you his uh 12 key he uh, raises all allies attack and defense for three turns okay so i like to assume that's 30 percent attack and defense for allies for three turns that's very strong if that is and his 18 key he greatly raises allies attack and defense for three turns so yes it is okay so his 12 key he's giving allies 30 percent attack and defense for three turns very nice and his 18 key he gives all allies 50 percent attack and defense for three turns that's very powerful very powerful he's basically helping himself and the rotation considering the fact that this is it's not saying self-excluded okay so it's passive eight key and 200 percent attack and defense just baseline and 70 percent attack and defense with each super attack performed okay and he guards all attacks aimed at target okay and all allies get 30 percent attack and defense so he's supporting from both his passive to his super attack of x which is obviously great and he also has a 50 percent chance to dodge nice and when key is 24 he launches a guaranteed super attack good that's good of course randomly changes orbs to rainbow orbs nice so he's a rainbow orb changer and when hp is 50 percent or above or when hp is above 50 percent he gains five key okay so rainbow orb changer 50 percent chance to dodge guarantee super built into him he's a support type unit from both his passive to his super attack effects he guards he has 70 percent attack defense each super attack performs i like to assume that's within the same turn but hey the person i made this card please let me know and he starts out with a moderately good amount of attack and defense. Yeah. So, so far, um, who's looking like the strongest one? Is it, is it Frieza? Frieza does have that dodge to fall back on. He does. Let me look at Frieza again. Yeah, Frieza, 200% attack and defense, 8 key. Builds up key and attack, 70% chance to dodge, most, multiple super attack chances, as well as a guaranteed super builds it to him. Um, maybe it's Ginyu. Maybe Ginyu is going to be the strongest one so far. Frieza is certainly going to be doing the most damage, I like to assume, considering the fact that he is stacking attack. Um, so Ginyu is the support. Uh, Frieza is the damage. And let's see what Cooler is looking like. Okay. And exchange available from turn one in slot two doesn't exchange. In slot one, you exchange back into Frieza. And in slot three, you exchange into Cooler. This is a dope-ass concept. This is fire. I gotta admit, this is a fire concept. Being able to exchange in a specific slot that you're in on the rotation, that is fire. That is creativity at its finest. So, Cooler. Okay, so Cooler's gonna be the defensive one. He's stacking defense. So, it's 12 key. He's stacking defense. Just, and this 18 key is greatly stacking defense. So, he's gonna be the defensive one. And uh, he starts with 8 key, 200% attack and defense at the start of turn. And he also gets 1 key up to 5 and 20% defense up to 100% defense at each attack received. He guards unrestricted. And in, in slot 1, he gets 59% defense. After receiving an attack, he launches a guarantee super, and he gets unrestricted 50% damage rec, so cool is the best one, okay. When key is 24, he launches a guarantee super, that pretty much goes across all three of the, the little exchanges, and changes STR orbs to AGL, just like Frieza, and when HP is 50%, or pretty much lower, he heals 30% HP start of turn. So cool is the best one. Frieza is certainly going to be doing the most damage, but cool is the best one. So, you want to go into cooler first right absolutely you want to go into cooler first so you can stack your defense like just almost immediately just stand by into him put him in slot one he'll have guard 59 percent not 59 that's 59 percent defense so guard 50 percent damage reduction he has a guarantee super built into him he builds up key defense starting out with a moderately high attack defense above at the start of turn um has a good amount of key with him he's changing orbs he's recovering hp this guy is definitely the best of all the, the uh standbys Second place would probably have to be Ginyu. Probably gonna have to be Ginyu, because that support is very, very strong. Yeah, because Ginyu himself, Ginyu is, yeah, he has, yeah, he guards all attacks aimed at the target. Um, yeah, guard, 50% chance to dodge, support from his passive to his super attack effects, which is, he has a very strong super attack effect, or super attack effects. Him being able to uh, give support for multiple turns on a super attack fix, as well as being a support on rotation. Yeah, guard, dodge, guarantee super built in. He's a rainbow orb changer. Ginyu's the second strongest. It's Ginyu's every second strongest. And Frieza is... Frieza's probably the weakest. Because Frieza is pretty much damage. I feel like... Damn. You know what's crazy? You probably don't have to use Frieza. You probably don't have to make a case to use Frieza. 
Because if you really think about it, all Frieza has to his name is that 70% chance to dodge, as well as those additional super attack chances, as well as that guaranteed super built into him. That's it. Yeah, Cooler's the best one. Because what is killing Cooler? Let's be honest. And then Ginyu's the second best, and Frieza's probably the worst. Yeah. And this is coming from a damaged guy. We just gotta respect the fact that defense is the meta. We we gotta. Like we just have to. I mean, although we've had like recent easy A's doing ridiculous attack stats. Tech Broly, I'm looking at you. Guys, I had a rotation with Tech Broly. And Physical Kid Boo was at the end of rotation. Um, Tech Broly hit 100 million. Off the free low. It was it was free. Free and easy. Did the boss die? That's for you to decide. <laughs> so that's about it. Um, W card. I am very... I really like this card. Of course, we have the little images. We got the little Frieza right here. Of course, some fighters. Uh, w game, by the way, of course. Fighters is pretty fun. Um, Yeah, W card, man. Yeah, Alim. Good job. I'm, I'm generally impressed. Generally impressed with this card. Very, very cool card. Freeze, Frieza is like, Frieza is the worst one for sure. Cool is the best one. Like the, the way, you know what's crazy? The way you can go about this card is that you just open up the turn, go into slot three, get cooled out immediately, start stacking up your defense, and you can either pick between going with Ginyu for support or going with Frieza for offense. And that'd be about it. Yeah. Yeah, but you always want to start with Cooler first to stack up that defense because, I mean, obviously, come on, guys, defense. You know, you know what I'm saying? Or you can start out with Frieza, start building up your attack so that way Cooler will hit hard, right? You'll have all that stacked up attack from Frieza. You could either go both ways. Because at the beginning of the fight, if Frieza does not dodge, he is cooked. He's cooked. But So I think that's about it. Um, I don't have a problem with any of this this design. I have no problem. I think this is a dope design. Maybe the, the cards could have... Hell no. We're not even going to nitpick. I think this is a dope design. But yeah. Send me custom cards over to bhfcustomcards at gmail.com so I get to your custom card as soon as possible. I'm getting all these recent custom cards out the way. I am, I am really impressed with this design. I'm, guys... This is not even, I'm not even trying to glaze, but this is a dope ass design. I'm <laughs> so serious. Uh, and I think that's about it. I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. Join the 24 7 Discord server. A link to join the Discord server is down below in the description below. And leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Wow. Let's, let me just go ahead and move on over to the unit review. Peace.